Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. Got a, got a double, an American double IPA, Dales. Um, I, I was requested, um, I had a request from Ashley Smith a while back. It might have been a year ago. Um, wanted me to do a Dale light lager. I have not seen those. But I saw this one the other day in a pick six area, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if she would accept this one. So, seems how it's Dale's, but I just haven't seen the light. So, this is for Ashley Smith. Um, so, hopefully she'll be cool with that. <clears throat> it says, when tasting new beers, Dale... Squirrel up there on the on the power line, like it's on a tightrope. When tasting new beers, Dale often has some very detailed feedback for the brewers at Oscar Blues Brewery. More, more, we were listening. To create this double IPA, we double down on American hops and brew it to an uncompromising nine percent ABV. Grab a Double Dales and double down on good times. Pack it in, pack it out, it says. That's right beside a, a recycling emblem, you know. Um, so yeah, 9% ABV. Brewed and canned by Oscar Brews, Blues sorry, Brewery, LLC. Longmont, Colorado. Huh, I'm familiar with that. I've been there many times. And also, looks like they have a brewery in Brevard, North Carolina, and Austin, Texas. India Pale Ale. Okay, man, this thing's nice cold right now. I think it's been a little while since I've had a, a double IPA. Dang it. I don't have my knife on me or anything. I thought I felt this and felt that it was... I was able to get my thumb under it. So I don't have no fingernails. To get underneath the underneath there. It's why you see me using stuff all the time. Okay. Probably not the correct glass, but I don't care. <laughs> I saw it trying to drip, trying to dri dribble down the can. So I started pouring faster, and this is what happens. I was gonna do, I was gonna do a comparison video where I, you know, do the, the 24 ounce cans. Um, but I worked my butt off today and um, I'm a little tired so I'm afraid if I drank all that beer I wouldn't last long tonight at all I'd be zzz, passed out so I, thought I better just kind of just go easy here do do one of my singles that I have Then I'm on my I'm on my vacation right now, so this this is this is the the night before my vacation start. Well, we got the weekend. My vacation starts this coming Monday, so um, we got a week off. So I got some opportunities. Excuse me to do the other ones. So now we're down to two finger head, deep amberish color there. 
deep gold goldish goldage goldage color <laughs> Is there anything else in there? There we go. It looks like it's got a little bit of a cloud, a cloudy, cloudiness, kind of a haziness. Looks really nice. It has a nice, um, Hoppy aroma. Kind of has a sweet, kind of a juicy, fruity kind of an aroma. Kind of mangoish a little bit. Kind of more like melon type of a, instead of like a like um, small hand fruit, you know, peach, pear, apple, that you could fit in your hand. Melons are bigger, right? So this is why I'm saying is that it's come more of a, a, a melonish kind of an aroma. But mango, mangoish, not melonish. I'm just kind of. Well, mangoes are small. Yeah. Anyway. It smells really good. Okay. Cheers, everybody. good medium to full body on that um, light carbonation sweet um, just sweet through and through now on the back end aftertaste starting to get some some bitterness there <clears throat> did it say I use on here I thought I said something about... No, I must have been thinking about another can. It doubled on the... It doubled down on the, on the American hops. Okay. so good this is like darn near a sessionable IPA but at that ABV I wouldn't advise it to drink more than two or three unless you're looking to get lit for the evening couple two or three of these would sure do the job <laughs> they're easy drinking because um, that sweet up front just make just helps you to um, what's the word imbi imbibe is that it I don't use that word but it just helps you to be able just to drink it qu quickly man that's so good so on the taste as well I'm sure it's the hops that are involved, but it still kind of has um, a sweet kind of a mango type of a f you know fruit f flavor to it. If you're trying, if you're trying to get describe the flavor as close as you can, 
that would be what I come up with is kind of that. Because um, it doesn't taste like anything else. It doesn't taste like orange. It doesn't taste like berries. It doesn't have an apple taste. Um, not, you know, not dragon fruit. Um, not kiwi. So mango is the closest I can think of that it's similar to. Just really good. Really good. Is there any more in there? Let's see. Had a lot of suds trying to dissolve the liquid. No, that was it. This is a really, really good beer. Um, so on my on my rating system, it's one to five. That's what I've used. Um, I don't do the A's and the B's and stuff. You can kind of do the math yourself when I tell you that. I mean, this would be this would be an A plus. Is that right? If I said it's a five, that's my highest level. Excuse me. So yeah, really good. Good quality beer. Nice eight nice ABV to it, along with the flavors. The ABV is hidden amongst those really good flavors. Um it's easy drinking. Um just very well made. Very well made. So this is my Friday night. There you go, Ashley. Sorry it wasn't the light version. I might, maybe, I mean, I ran into this one. Maybe I'll eventually find Dale's light by that time, or sooner or later. So, let me know if you guys have tried this and what you thought of it. If I get an opportunity, I can look up and see who, who done it. Oh, wow, what? Canned 12 11 of 2023. So, yeah, um, it's it's past. I mean, it's not really. <clears throat> it's been a little while, you know. I can't I can't think of how many months ago that was. But it's been a little bit. But that 9%, that really helps it stay, you know, good quality. It says 147. I don't know what that means. 147 canned 12-11-2023. This is this. It wouldn't be the hundred and forty seventh beer canned on that date, would it? Man, that's almost that's that's uh, December. That's December eleventh. My date of birth is twelve twelve. Nineteen sixty five. Many years ago. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think my dinner is almost ready in there. So, I guess I'm going to end it here. If you see a red tint on me, it's it's because of this I have a giant umbrella above me
That's why. <clears throat> it's really, it's shaded in this area, but not during the day. We're approaching the evening now, so. Um, we don't have chances of rain until next week. So I'm just going to leave this umbrella up. Okay. Start to act like my dad now. He's in a nursing home. I know I'm going to be just like him. And, and when I'm in the nursing home, I'm going to be exactly like him. All I hear from the nurses in there is they just love him. They just love him. I went, I went and saw him the other day and um, this one nurse, as I came out of his room from seeing him, um, she kind of loudly yells at me saying, um, have a good day, sir, something like that. I said, oh, thank you, you too. And as she went into his room, she goes, Hi, sweetheart. Really loud. They just, they all do that. That's the way he's always been. He's just a good-natured person. But if you do something to make him mad, then... He probably won't like you for a while <laughs> unless you get back into his good graces. Ouch. I wish I knew what that was. It's probably the first stages of arthritis. Both of my hands and my thumb area. Are there any um, wrist, wrist, hand, and joint doctors out there watching this. My hands get fatigued really easy. Um, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be a bummer if I went to shoot that fly when I hit my glass and, and it all fell all over the deck? I'd be mad. I might accidentally say a bad word. Mm -mm -mm. Did I say just a little bit ago I was getting ready to end this video? I better end it. I could go on, I could go on for a while, but. I better end it here. I can talk more on the next video. All right, thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is some good stuff. It's, uh, it's relaxing. Excuse me, it's relaxing me right now. So. I'm going to go in and see if the wife needs any assistance with dinner and did you know, I'm not going to go into it, did you know that tomorrow, I don't know who all is into watching the uh, House of the Dragon. It's kind of a prequel to Game of Thrones. So it starts tomorrow, the new season.
kind of got hooked on that show. here thank you all for watching i appreciate it we'll see you on the next one have a good weekend